Well, hello, geometers and seekers of general truths. In this video, we will talk about um, an example or several examples of how to find arc length uh, of an arc on a circle. So let's get right to it. We have this picture here, and we're told that MQ is a diameter, and the radius of the circle is 15 centimeters. So uh, we can label this length here 15 centimeters, really any of these radii, Right, would all be 15 centimeters. What is the circumference of the circle? Well, remember that the circumference formula is c equals 2 pi times the radius. So we can make our substitutions here and substitute in 15 for the radius, and that will give us 30 pi uh, centimeters. Okay, so that's the radius. Right. And just to emphasize, I mean, that's the circumference, excuse me. The circumference here is 30 pi centimeters. And what we mean by circumference in this case, it is the distance around the entire circle. Okay, so it's like if we were to stand on the circle and walk, we would walk a distance of 30 times pi, which is, you know, be about 90 um, units, give or take. Okay, so that's that distance all the way around the circle is 30 pi centimeters. So next question, what is the length of MQ? And I emphasize length here because we're not talking about the measure of MQ, we're talking about the length. Well, MQ, the arc MQ, is this arc right here, this blue arc that I'm highlighting in here. And that happens to be precisely half of the circumference, right? Because MQ is a diameter, we know that arc MQ is a is um is a semicircle. Okay. So therefore, we can say that the length of MQ is equal to one half of the circumference. Because okay. a semi means half, right? So we can do this calculation again relatively quickly. It's one half times the circumference which we know is 30 pi centimeters. So this turns out to be 15 pi centimeters as the length of the arc m cubed. All right, so um, those two examples were fairly straightforward. Now let us look at something that may not be so simple. So let us look at uh, the length of QR. So this picture is getting pretty complicated pretty quickly, but QR, I'm actually going to go to my highlighter here. QR is this yellow length right here, right? The arc from Q to R. Right? Well, it's not really half of the circle. It's not a quarter of the circle. It's nothing like that. So we're going to have to uh, employ some other techniques here in order to really figure out what precisely is um, that, that length. Okay? But to answer this question, uh, it is not too difficult okay, if we just think about this a little bit in greater detail here, right? So QR has a measure of 73 degrees. Okay, so the, let's, let's remind ourselves here what all this means, that the measure of QR is 73 degrees. And the, the measure of the entire circle, the arc measure, the angular measure of the entire circle is 360. Therefore, we can say that the length, we can create a proportion, the length of QR over the length around the circle or the circumference of the circle must be equal to the measure of QR over 360. 360 degrees. So we're comparing the measure of the arc over the measure of the circle to the length of the arc over the length of the circle. So we can put this all together now and say, well, let's say the length of QR, we'll call it X, that's the thing we're looking for, over the circumference, which we already figured out was 30 pi centimeters, is equal to the measure of QR, which is 73 over 360. And then we work all this out, we will get that multiply both sides by 30 pi. 
So we get 73 over 360 times 30 pi. And that will give us uh, our the answer that we're looking for here. We'll reduce down to uh, 73 pi over 12. Okay, so that's going to be the uh, the measure or the arc length of QR. But I want to go back here and emphasize this point that what to get to this this place that we're at, what we're simply doing is setting up a proportion between the length of the arc, the circumference of the circle, and then the measure of the arc, and the total degree measure of the entire circle. Okay, and then now if we needed to round to get a decimal approximation, we can just type all of this into a calculator. Alright, so that's a, a brief introduction into arc length and how to find them, and we'll continue to, to develop this concept within the next several videos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful